Hey, so I've got my books for this summer semester for college, and I wanted to share these books with you uh, just to let you know these are things that I'm going to be reading as I go through these classes this summer semester. So for my Intro to Christianity class, there's three books that we are asked to read for that class. And so I'm going to share those with you. And then I've got a textbook from the Intro to uh, Religious Studies class. Um, and I think I mentioned in the last video that the, the Chinese history class, there, there is no textbook. I didn't, I couldn't, there was nothing about a textbook for that one. So that one's going to be more of just a lecture, it sounds like, to learn from. So the book I want to talk about today is this one called The Life of Walata Petros. Uh, it's an ebook that I have. So if you've, I don't know if you've seen this book or heard about this, this is a really interesting book. I read the introduction of it so far and was really surprised at what I saw in this book. I was kind of concerned about it. Uh, it's a 17th century biography of an African woman. And so uh, admittedly, initially, when I looked at this book, I thought, oh, maybe this is that part of that DEI stuff that I've heard about uh, in colleges that's kind of, this is imposing other views on, you know, those, kind of, those kinds of ideas. But it's, a, it's required reading, so I wanted to get into this book. So I got the into, in, in, into the introduction, excuse me, um, and I'm actually excited to read this book more. What I learned about this book is that uh, apparently when we think of Christianity, we think of you know Christ and his apostles, and then the teachings go out from there, and they move up into Rome and into the rest of Europe and Asia, and then eventually we have Catholicism, and then Catholicism kind of branches off after the fourth century, and we get uh, more Greek Orthodox and Russian Orthodox on one side, and we get more Roman Catholicism and Church of England eventually on the other side. So we start to see these branches of Christianity come out. Uh, apparently, and I, I still haven't read the book yet to know definitively where, what happened with this, but apparently there was either a group that kind of left the Middle East and went down into Ethiopia, or there was a group of missionaries that made it over that way. I don't know. Uh, we know that there were some missionaries in Alexandria over in Egypt for a little while in that first century. Uh, or, yeah, towards the end of the first century, probably first century or, or late second century, early second century, excuse me. Um, but anyways, what happened was apparently there was a group of, there was a, a tribal group in Ethiopia that lived Christianity. So I haven't heard all the details of how they got it and what happened with that, but I'm trying, I'm, I'll get into that with this book as I read this for, for my classes. Uh, so this, this African tribe lived this. So men and women had a lot more equality through this. There was literacy. They actually had literacy in Ethiopia and things back then as well. And so the, I think it's the Eastern Orthodox Church sent missionaries down and realized, hey, there's this, there's this other version of Christianity that's being lived down there. Uh, it's not huge. It's kind of the small, just small, just a local church, basically. But we want them to convert to us. And so they tried to kind of manipulate the government, the king and things, to get their version of religion taught and kind of quash this little, little known one. And this woman, Walata Petros, fought back and said, no, this is the true religion, not the Greek Orthodox. We're going to push back on it. And this is, this is about her life and this discussion and debate. Very self, uh, self-aware, self headstrong woman that we have. So it's interesting, too, because this is actually the, if you think about it, this is the first biography on a black woman, on an African woman, basically, uh, in, in the world, for the most part, from what I understand. At least that's kind of, they talk about that in the introduction. So this sounds like a pretty interesting book to read. I'm, I'm really excited to get into it and start to understand what were differences and similarities of their Christianity as uh, they lived it back then as well and, and kind of see what happened. I might, I might do some looking online to see where, where is this religion today? Is it, a, is it a, a dead religion? Did it die off eventually? Is it still around? Uh, you know, so this will be fun to, uh, to do that. And I'll try to give you some updates as we go on on these classes as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying these updates on what I'm going to be learning and doing. I want to help you learn what I'm learning so you can come along on this journey. And uh, even though I'm paying 
for it's like 2700 bucks to go to this summer semester school's expensive these days holy cow man i remember when i went to college the first time i think i paid like 1500 dollars for somewhere around 12 to 15 credit hours and now i'm only taking nine and it's like almost 3000 bucks it's crazy uh, of course i went to school a little just over 20 years ago last time um, but this will be fun. So I hope you're enjoying these videos and you enjoy this journey and come along with me on this as I continue to learn and get my master's in, in history. So we'll, uh, I'll do another review of the next book next week.